Mud, oil, and spices. Who knew they were so good for your skin? Well, women in different countries across the globe, that too. Once you've heard about these best kept beauty tips from around the world, you'll never look at various types of food in the same way, or snells for that matter. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today, we're sharing 10 secrets for flawless skin from other countries. China. The next time you're in the kitchen preparing dinner, don't throw away the water after you've cooked your rice. It's full of nutrients that can be used as part of your skincare regime. Rice water has been used by women across Asia for centuries to help their skin and hair. In countries like China, women make their own rice water to wash their faces because it helps brighten skin, fade age spots, and reduce dark circles. And it's so simple to do. Just soak half a cup of rice in two cups of water for about 15 minutes. Strain and then use the milky water to tone your skin. In China, it's diluted, concentrated, and even fermented. To make a concentrated version, cook your rice in twice the amount of water that you'd usually use. Strain out the rice, and you'll have vivid white water. Put it in the refrigerator in a covered container, and it will keep up for a week. You can dilute a few tablespoons of this concentrated rice water into a cup of clean water and use daily as a replacement for your usual toner. It can help reduce the size of your pores, and it can be used on your hair. The Yao woman from a village in China traditionally never cut their hair so it would often grow to more than six feet long. But they kept it shiny, thick, and dark, thanks to rice water rinses. Japanese and Korean women also swear by rice water for their skin. Is it a technique you would like to try? Korea. Korea skincare regimes and makeup products have gained cold popularity with beauty bloggers. And it's no surprise that Korean women have such flawless skin given that they have a daily, multi-step process which they start at a young age. The typical 10-step routine involves products we've heard of like makeup remover, cleanser, exfoliator, sheet mask, eye cream, moisturizer, and night cream. But it also includes more unusual things like a refresher, essence, and ampoule. Let us demystify these for you. A refresher is the Korean equivalent of of a toner, and an ampoule is like a serum or a booster in the West. An essence is considered the most important step, and it affects skin on a cellular level. It helps your skin to look brighter and smoother, and it speeds up the cell turnover rate. If that all sounds like a lot of products and processes, you can follow Korean women's lead with a couple of quicker skincare tips instead. One is slapping. Women in Korea reportedly slap their faces about 50 times after their daily skincare regimen. This helps to firm up the muscles in the face and get blood circulation going. Another less painful option is to use a konjac sponge. They're all the rage in Japan, as well as South Korea, where they're made out of a starchy root vegetable. They're a natural, gentle way to exfoliate and make skin cells turn over faster than the standard 28-day cycle. This provides a radiant glow. Israel. Women in Israel cover themselves in mud and then wash in salty water. And it does wonders for their skin. That's because they live right by a salt lake bordered by Israel, Jordan, and Palestine. The sea has a high salt content and the mud is rich in minerals, making for a restorative combination. These minerals, including calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium, draw out impurities and absorb excess oil. They can also help promote blood circulation when massaged into the skin, which can reduce the appearance of sun People with acne, eczema, and psoriasis use sea mud to help ease their skin. The rich mineral content can help restore the skin's pH balance and aid natural exfoliation too. Sea mud masks are said to minimize wrinkles, lines, and pores and improve elasticity. Toxins are drawn out when the mask dries too. It is thought to be so effective that there are now lots of sea mud products that can be bought all over the world. You can still enjoy its benefits even if you can't actually bathe in the lake itself. Just take a jar of mud home to use later, like the locals do. But plenty of people make the journey to the therapeutic sea to try it in person, including Cleopatra herself. Morocco. Women in Morocco have used argan oil for centuries to keep their skin smooth. It was traditionally used by the Berber people to treat skin conditions, rheumatism, and heart disease. And now, the rest of the world knows about its antioxidant effects, which neutralize free radicals and help health as well as skin. This makes it popular as an anti-aging product, as it can reduce the visibility of wrinkles. As it restores skin elasticity, it is also used to treat stretch marks. Argan oil is high in vitamin E and fatty acids, which make it 
perfect as a moisturizer. These properties are also helpful in repairing damaged skin and soothing conditions like eczema, cracked lips, and burned skin. Argan trees are native to Morocco and have grown there for millions of years. The oil comes from seeds inside the kernels, and extracting the oil was traditionally undertaken by Berber women. They used to pick the kernels out of goat dung, but thankfully that process is usually bypassed these days. Nowadays, the production of Morocco's gold is providing jobs for hundreds of women in cooperatives. This is empowering them both financially and socially. Much of that produce is being bought by large global beauty brands to make face creams, body butter, and bath foams. Greece. Anyone who's been to Greece will no doubt have seen olive trees growing on the land. It's said that these trees first grew in ancient Greece, and they were considered sacred trees because of their benefits to skin, hair, and health. That's why athletes were crowned with olive leaves. Ancient Greeks used olive oil to protect their skin against sun damage and as a barrier to stop dirt from clogging their pores. It's not just the oil from the olives that was used on the skin either. The leaves were crushed to make a paste for women to relieve skin irritation from acne or spots. Even today, women in Greece use olive oil as a moisturizer on their face and all over their bodies. They apply it as soon as they get out of the shower, while their skin is still wet, and then pat themselves dry with a towel. Its hydrating properties mean it's also massaged into lips to soften and nourish. Not only that, but you can use olive oil as a makeup remover because it can grab onto other oil-based products. You can use it on its own or as a pre-cleanser followed by warm water and a face wash. And thanks to to its high levels of antioxidants, such as vitamin E and polyphenols, olive oil can help reduce the signs of aging by neutralizing free radicals. Colombia. Avocado on toast is one of the most popular dishes to photograph and share on social media. But women in Colombia don't just eat it, they put it on their skin too. In fact, women throughout Latin America have used avocado in their beauty treatments for years. Colombia is one of the world's largest avocado producers and is home to 10 varieties. So it's no wonder that women in this South American country make use of the fruit's beneficial properties on their faces. Avocados are rich in essential fatty acids, minerals, and vitamins including calcium, copper, iron, magnesium, and potassium. They can help enhance skin elasticity, reduce the effects of aging, and treat dry or acne-prone skin. You can buy beauty products with avocado in the ingredients list, or you can make your own DIY avocado face mask. In fact, none other than Victoria Beckham uses a homemade avocado and apricot mask to keep her complexion looking youthful. Start by blending an avocado with fresh apricots, and then spread the mixture over your face, avoiding the eye area. Leave it on overnight, like Victoria, before rinsing off the next morning. The antioxidants and vitamin E in avocados can help improve the texture and tone of skin, while the natural fruit acids exfoliate dead skin cells. Ghana African women have long used black soap to get flawless skin. African black soap helps heal problem skin and is used as a cleanser to lightly exfoliate skin. Its high levels of iron, vitamin E, and vitamin A help fight free radicals and nourish skin. The soap is formulated for oily skin and is particularly used for treating psoriasis, eczema, and acne. There are also claims that it can even out dark spots, thin fine lines, and ease razor bumps and blemishes too. It is traditionally made by tribal women in Ghana and West Africa. They use secret recipes to create the soap, and different communities have their own blends of oils and cooking techniques, so that's why there are color variations. Black soap is made from locally harvested African plants like shea tree bark, cacao pods, plantain, and palm leaves. These ingredients are dried in the sun and then roasted in a kettle at a constant temperature. That's where the dark color comes from. Once they've added shea butter, coconut oil, and palm oil to the they leave the soap to cure for a couple of weeks. It's the antibacterial properties of the plantain extract that's considered helpful in treating acne breakouts. In addition to using the soap as a cleanser, some women also use it as a makeup remover and even as shampoo. India. Most of us associate turmeric with cooking, but Indian women use this deep orange root in their beauty regime too. It's packed full of antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties so that it can help skin conditions like acne, eczema, and rosacea. It can also help reduce the signs of aging thanks to its antioxidant qualities which help fight free radicals. When you eat turmeric, you're helping to protect your body against damage from UV radiation, so that means fewer wrinkles and dark spots. But it's not just about 
about eating the spice. Indian women also smear it on their skin. As part of the preparation for her wedding, an Indian bride takes part in a ceremony. This is where she applies a turmeric paste to her face and body to create a vibrant glow. Try it yourself by mixing one teaspoon of turmeric powder with yogurt and honey. Leave on your face for 15 minutes before washing it off. You can also focus on your under eyes with this DIY mask. Mix together one teaspoon of baking soda with half a teaspoon of turmeric and a few drops of lemon juice. Add a small amount of freshly squeezed pineapple juice to make a paste. Apply under your eyes and leave for 15 minutes. Then wash off before putting on your usual moisturizer. This is said to help reduce dark circles and bags under the eyes. Will you give it a go? Japan. Japan is a really inventive country, so it's no surprise it's home to a lot of creative beauty procedures. Some push the boundaries more than others, and one particular method raised a lot of eyebrows when it launched in 2013. A clinic in Tokyo started offering snail facials. The mucus secreted by snails is thought to contain a mixture of hyaluronic acid, antioxidants, and proteins that can help remove dead skin, reduce inflammation, and increase moisture retention. Beauty Technicians also believe the snail slime can help heal skin that has been damaged by UV rays. In fact, it was Mount Fuji gaining world heritage status that inspired the spa to develop the snail facial. That's because there would be more people climbing the peak and therefore suffering from skin damage as a result of the ultraviolet rays mountain climbers are exposed to. So how does the process work? You simply lie on your back and let the therapist place snails onto your forehead and cheeks, allowing them to leave trails of slime as they creep across your skin. The snails at the spa eat a diet of organic vegetables to ensure they are clean and healthy. The 60-minute treatment called the Celebrity Escargot Course also involves masks, massages, and electrical pulse machines using creams infused with snail mucus. Those products aren't new though, as they have gained popularity in the two years leading up to the launch of the snail facial. Does the thought of it make your skin crawl? Egypt. Activated charcoal has become a popular ingredient in skin products and DIY face masks in recent years, but Egyptians were using the stuff centuries ago. Ancient Egyptians originally used charcoal as a fuel to manufacture bronze, but in doing so, they discovered its preservative qualities. That's why they started using it to preserve corpses and collected the byproducts to use in embalming. Thanks to charcoal's antibacterial and antifungal properties, it started to be used for medicinal purposes too. And now, these aspects of charcoal are being utilized in the skincare industry. Beauty company Origins Active Charcoal Mask became one of its best sellers. Its director of global product development, Wendy Brooks, explained why. She told NY Daily News that charcoal absorbs 100 to 200 times its weight in impurities so it can help purify and deep clean the skin. Spas started offering charcoal facials for hundreds of dollars, so it's no surprise that DIY peel-off masks grew in popularity. One such homemade mask is said to help remove blackheads. You mix activated charcoal with non-toxic glue and then apply it to areas where you have blocked pores, like your nose and cheeks. Once it is dried, you peel off the mask and then tone your face to close your pores. It's worth noting that there have been warnings given by toxicology experts about using charcoal because it can cause damage if it accidentally gets into your lungs. Are you tempted to give any of these ideas a go? Check out our friends at The Things who make interesting, feel-good videos about lifestyle, pop culture, and everything viral that is sure to keep you entertained. Which of these skincare techniques have you tried? Are there any others you swear by? Let us know in the comments and give our video a big thumbs up.